Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to create beautiful rich grades with inbuilt plats in DaVinci Resolve 18. This is our before and after and I will be using only a few notes and I'm sure you're gonna love how easy it is to create beautiful film looks. Let's start. And this is our clip. It has been shot with Blackmagic Pocket Camera and I am already in DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. So my clip is converted to Rec. 709. If you don't know how to switch from non-color managed to color managed in Resolve, I will tag in here my tutorial where you can learn a bit about it. But now let's open our node graph and let's create a few serial nodes. I am not sure how many I will need, but we can always add them. And I will start from applying the LUT and then we'll be making all other adjustments. But I hope that you remember from my other tutorial I will tag it in here as well, that if we want to use Resolve inbuilt LUTs, we have to convert the Rec. 709 clip to Cineon Film Lock first, as this is the color space these LUTs are designed for. So let's rename our next to last node, I will call it Rec. 709 to Cineon, and I will label my last node as well. Then I'll grab Color Space Transform from the effects, and then I will just change Gamma to Cineon Film Lock. And now we can apply the LUT on the last node, so I'll right click on it and I will go to LUTs. Then Film Looks. And here there are my favorite Kodak LUTs. D55 is the warmest version and this is how it looks. But today I will go for the coldest version, which is Kodak 2383 D65. And it looks like this. It's a bit too strong for this clip, so let's highlight our conversion and LUT nodes. And let's create a compound node. And then here in the key, we can decrease the key output. Like this. Okay, now looks nice. And this is before and after. And it's a very good foundation for our look. So I'll move back to my first node and I will fix the exposure here. With my primary wheels. So first I'll bring the highlights down with the gain wheel. And then I'll adjust gamma, contrast and lift a little bit. And this is before and after, looking good. Then on the second note I'll be enhancing our look, so let me rename it accordingly. And again with my primary color wheels I'll maybe add more red in the midtones. then blue in the shadows and I'll take a little bit of the blue from the highlights and this is before and after just a slight difference as I just want to enhance the look we've got by using the LUT I don't want to change it much now let's add a bit of glow and I will show you a great way of adjusting the glow here so let's rename our node first then let's right click on it and let's find at mat and then let's pick the clip we are working on and then when i turn my highlight on here i can see that we've created a mask based on the luminance of the shot which means that when we apply the glow effect onto our glow node it will be affecting mainly the brightest parts of the shot not the darkest parts and then when we have our highlight on and we click on the glow node we can see exactly what areas of the shot will be affected okay so let's apply the glow effect onto our node and let's move the shine threshold slider to the right to add the glow, not too much. And then I'll also increase the spread and this is before and after. And now I think I want to decrease highlights in the sky a bit. I think it looks way too bright now. So let's create another serial node and let's call it sky. Then I will grab a rectangular power window and I will place it over the sky. And then I will go to the qualifier. I will untick hue and saturation. And I will bring the luminance slider up to select only the sky, as this is the brightest part of the clip. Then I will blur it a bit. Okay. And now I'll decrease gain by using Gain Master Wheel. Like this. 
and this is before and after. And now let's see the final result full screen. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.